Hello, welcome to my channel. So I am someone who streams on a regular basis. I have a stream deck that kind of controls my whole streaming setup from switching, transitioning my scenes to my mic, to recording, to going live, blah, blah, blah. I also stream games that I like to use a counter for, whether that's for um, I play a hunting game, so counting kills, trophies on that. I also have a counter for if I use a bad word, whatever. And I have that show up here on my OBS as well. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to get this counter on your stream deck and then how to set it up to go to your OBS and show up on your OBS. I do not have Streamlabs. I'm not sure if it's similar on Streamlabs, but this is how it works on OBS and how to link them up. As you can see down here, I have the counter bar raider stream counter. All right, you want to click on these little buttons here and it'll bring up your stream deck. Of course, you wanna be signed in for this so it can download to your stream deck, but you're gonna to wanna to type in counter. And then the first one that pops up is this stream counter by Bar Raider. You're gonna to wanna to get that and download it to your stream deck. Once you have that downloaded to your stream deck, it'll show up here on the side. So I already have some counters going, but I'm going to make a new one just so you can see it. So it's going to be down here on the side like that. You're just going to take the stream counter and you're going to plop it in there. As you can see, it already has a number, it already has an icon, whatever. Now, the only way to get this to work and to add numbers is if you attach a text file to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on, we're going to go down here. We're gonna, you see like there's the name. So if you wanted to give it a name, you could. There's the number, which you can change that and it'll change eventually, there's not a text file. But anyway, you're gonna scroll down here. A file name must be set for this counter. So we're gonna click on that. This will pop up. Little interjection here. So if you're working with your stream deck and some buttons and things aren't working, like if you click on those little dots and you or you can't click on them, make sure to close out of your stream deck completely and then reopen it. Just a little reset and then that should do fine. And you can should be able to go ahead. And as you can see, it's already set to text file. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it blah because why not? And then you are going to send it somewhere. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I actually have YouTube stream stuff that I would send my actual buttons to. But I'm just going to send it to my desktop so it's easy to find. And I'm going to save that text file. So now as you see, it's literally assigned to a text file on my desktop. Here it is on my desktop. Blah. On my desktop. So now that it is attached to that file, I can click this button and it's already registering that I've added one to this file, right? And then if I open the file, which I'll show you, I open this file, there it is, four. There it's registering as six. I click the button six seven eight it's there on my thing there it is on my text file so that you have that portion done where it's on your text file great now if you want to you can go and you can assign a an icon to it so it's not like the default if you want it to be like mine i have like a diamond looking one i have a click that reminds me to click for kills and then I have this little fish that says uh, a bad word on it that I use to count how many times I say that bad word. So you could do that. Uh, so you can go down here, t click on this little carrot, and then set from file, and then it'll bring up that goes straight to my emotes because that's where I use them the most. So you can <laughs> use your emotes file if you wanted to. Let's just make something random. Let's just add the Stromboli baby. There we go. So now it's a picture and it's showing up like that on my stream deck as well. So now how the heck 
do we get that onto our OBS? So I will show you how to do that. Okay, you're now seeing my OBS. I have my games, which is like my main screen that I'm sharing. And you can see I have my other counters here, the animal, the diamonds, and I'll just show you how they look. Now, the animal and this diamond logo are pictures that I just added in, so I can, I'll even show you how to set that up. So I click my animal and it already goes up. The diamond goes up every time I click it. Obviously there's a little bit of delay, but I'm going to show you how to set that up. So let's get rid of these ones. Let's just hide them and we're going to add a new one. So remember your button is tied to a text file. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down here and we're going to add a source. It's a text file. So you wanna to go to a text. Obviously it's already registering that I have some made. We're just gonna call this one blah, which is the name of my text file, right? Okay, it's gonna bring this up, a lot of stuff, right? You're gonna click this, read from file, because it's a text file. Click this button, it's not selected. Read from file, browse. We're gonna to go to my desktop blah text file there it is there's the eight that we already have been clicking that's correct now if you want to while you're in here you can set the color to anything you want you can add a background if you want like a background color ta-da you can see where it is or like me i like to move it around that's how you add the counter to it and it's just a source a text source here i'm clicking it you can see it's going up if you want to add a, a picture, maybe the one that add, that matches the key. All I did this is I took my image. I'm just gonna do blah again. I like to name oh, we'll just do blah pic. There we go. And then we're gonna find my picture. <laughs> we're gonna go to a YouTube stream stuff. Go to my emotes and find the Stromboli baby. And then you can just align them however you want. Also a little cheeky extra is if you're aligning things in OBS like this, you can push the all and it'll, it'll crop it like that if you push all while you're doing that. But now you have a matching sticker to what's on your button and then your button is tied. Okay, so if you want to move the file it seems like because it's tied to the desktop it'll automatically make a new file but if you want to move it somewhere where you're not going to see it on the desktop the whole time you're going to have to delete this delete the file or just delete the button in general move the file to the new location and then refine that file which i can show you how to do that but also you see it says that i have 10 kills or whatever 10 stromboli babies but it doesn't change here this is just like your initial number so if you're changing it like i change species for instance when i'm using it for my hunting game i'll change up what my kills are per per grind so for here maybe i'm like actually i'm at 25 stromboli babies Boom, you can just type it in there. And then as it goes up again, it won't change here because this is like your starting number. It'll go, it'll still go here and you can see that it's still showing up here on your OBS. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I, try, I did try to move the blah text into a folder but it just made a new one so what if you want to move the blah text i would just delete this button completely just delete it and then i would move your blah text to a different folder go ahead and x out of stream deck as you can see it's no longer on on here because it doesn't exist but the pathing is still there and then there's my stromboli baby so we're gonna go ahead and open my stream deck again and try this again. And then we're gonna click that. It'll bring this up. And I just moved it into my thumbnail pictures. There it is. We're going to retot. Do you want, yes, replace it. There you go. It already has the numbers. Obviously you can reset the icon. And then 
you're going to have to go here, properties, browse, and then re reconnect them here as well. Blah. There you go. So that's in case you move it around and it gets kind of broken. That's how you reconnect it as well. But I hope that helps. That's just for my Call of the Wild peeps. That's the game we play, Call of the Wild, or any other games that, or things you want to keep count of on your stream. That's the way to go about adding a counter to your stream deck and then adding it to OBS and having it show up and things like that. I hope that was useful. Sorry if I was clear in some parts. Please uh, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.